Hi everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and I have another treat box to share and I had a couple requests for a teacher's gift or a teacher's box and so this is the box that I created and if you want to you can put the teacher's name here I just stuck a little name on there or you can just leave it blank but this is what I'm sharing today so let's go ahead and get started so what you'll need is a piece of whisper white, uh, not whisper white, that is not white, <laughs> a piece of real red, and it's 12 by 8. And then this is our new chalkboard paper, and that's what I used for the little chalkboard on top. And this piece is, I forgot to measure it, it's 4 and 3 quarters by 3 and 3 quarters. So you'll need that piece for the chalkboard. And then this piece measures one half inch by four and three quarters because this is the little chalk holder. And then a just piece, a little piece of scrap for your piece of chalk. And so that is everything that you need. And let's go ahead and get started scoring this. Let me grab my trimmer here. And then on the 12 inch side, we're going to score it at one inch. and then five inches six and a half ten and a half and then we are going to turn it and score it at one and a half and six and a half So that is it. And now the shorter side here is going to be where our little flap is. So let me grab my scissors. Where did I put those? And we are going to just cut off this little corner here. And then we'll cut this corner off on this side. Okay, then we're going to cut up each score mark on the sides here up to the first score mark. And also the same on the other side. Grab my bone folder and sharpen all our score marks here. Okay, so now we have all our score marks um, sharpened up and we are ready to put this together. So I'm going to use our Fast Fuse, but do use the sticky strip. You can use Fast Fuse. Um, it does hold better, a lot better than your, your um, snail. You don't want to use the snail. You know, if you watch my videos, you hear me say that over and over. But I like to emphasize it because I still get people saying that their box fell apart. And if you use the sticky strip, I'm telling you it will not fall apart. So we are going to line these up and you see the bottom of our box forming here. And then we are going to put some on the inside here. And I, if I, if you don't check these like I just did this piece was so small I couldn't get it on there but and then we're going to do this side and line that up and then what I did was on the side that um, will fold down I just went ahead and cut a little triang triangle to that corner there it just looks better to me. 
And then, actually, I took this piece to make sure that they were even, and I just line it up the same way, and then I just cut. So you know you have them both the same. And they look even on both sides. And then I'm going to grab the corner rounder and I'm going to round the corners of this little top. And you see I found my little corner rounder. I'm so happy. It was just stashed away somewhere. So anyway, this box folds down like that and then this little flap will fold on the inside. And that's so it'll keep it closed that way. Okay, so now we're ready to do the chalkboard, and so I'll grab that piece, set that aside, and you're going to use your emboss, um, buddy, and what I did was I just, because it makes it look like it's chalk, <laughs> so this is what I use to make it look chalky, and you can make it as chalky as you want, or I just think it looks so cute like it's been written on. So then I'm going to use our Whisper White Craft Stamp Pad. And I want to tell you, when you're using your stamps uh, with this, be very careful not to touch it after you stamp it, because this does stay wet a lot longer. So um, you will smear it, because I did that already. On the first one that I did, I had to redo. And I forgot that it does stay wet. And so one way, uh, a little tip for that, is that you can use your um, embossing gun and heat it and it will speed up the drying process. So we are using this Crazy About You stamp set. Look at the sentiments in this and I think this is so so cute and then you got these it's extra and um, you can create so many combinations with this. This is a must-have. I really love this set. And then I'm using the Celebration set, and I'm using this you, You're Simply Wonderful, but it has a lot of cute sentiments, too. And you can get this free with a $50 purchase now through cele Celebration. So I am using Many Thanks, and I'm using You're Simply Wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and do the sim You're Simply Wonderful first, because that's my one that's in the center. And... I'm going to stamp that and it looks so cute it looks like it's just been um, done with chalk and then I'm going to do the U rock and I need it needed the U for celebrate you so I'm going I put the U on one side and then the rock on the other so I can use the U again so that's a little tip for you And then I'm going to do the Celebrating You. And these are Photopolymer. The other one is our Clear Stamp. The one that says You're Simply Wonderful. And then I'm going to do the Many Thanks. So you can just create any combination that you want to put on here. And then what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to heat it a little bit with my heat tool so it speeds up that drying. Okay, so I don't, I don't want to smear it, so I wanted to go ahead and do that before I get my hands um, in it. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to attach this bottom piece, which is the chalk holder. And... You know, I wanted to pop it up on the other one, and if you're going to write the teacher's name on here, I would write it first, and um, then go ahead and pop it up, but you know what, I'm just going to do it like I did the first one, and just use some snail, and attach it to the bottom here, make sure it's just flush up to that bottom. And then I'm going to grab the corner rounder again, and I'm going to round these corners.
Okay, so now we have a new chalk marker, and that's how I did the rest of it. I love this thing. It's super, super neat, and it looks like, I don't know where all that stuff's coming from. It looks like it's really chalk that you're writing with. So I just added a little bit. I just wrote A, A, B, C, and then I wrote cat. I guess I'll write that here. And then down here I just put like 2 plus 2 is 4. I love this little chalk. I mean, it's super. You can write whatever you want. You can put your own little uh, touch to it. And then for the little apple, I just used our little um, mini heart punch and I cut just a little bit of piece of brown and some garden green and I just made it look like a little apple. And so I am going to just stick, you know, I'm going to stick a glue dot on the back of that and we're going to add that right there and then we have a new um, well it's actually not new but it's a heart punch and it's a border punch and so I had these left over from when I made a Valentine's card so I'm gonna just use one of those little um, hearts I guess I'll stick another glue dot on there I used my Tombow beat on my other one, but this will work fine. I just stuck an extra little heart on there. And now for our little piece of chalk, you just have to do this by hand. I, all I did was I just cut a small piece and I actually just took my corner rounder and stuck it in there and just kind of rounded the ends. And when you do this, you sometimes need a little piece that has sticky on the end so you can hold it, so you can punch that end. And then just, so it kind of looks like a little piece of chalk. Whatever makes it easiest for you, but I thought that was just a quick and easy way to do it. So then we'll just add a little piece of chalk there. I'm going to cut this just a hair thinner. I don't want it to interfere with my... Now we're ready to attach it to the top of our box. So again I'm going to use the fast fuse because I want to make sure this stays on. You can use the fast fuse for this or your sticky strip, but the fast fuse will hold it. It's, a, it's pretty strong adhesive. And then we'll just attach that to the top. And I thought that's super quick, easy, and simple. And then if you want to add your teacher's name or your child's teacher's name, um, you can go ahead and do that. So that is it, and I thought that turned out so sweet, and I thought, I thought it was, I'm going to actually give one of these to my grandson for his teacher at the, for, at the end of the school year. So it's really, really cute, and he, he's so funny because he's always wanted, I swear he has a crush on her. He's only in first grade, but it's so adorable. He's always wanting to buy her stuff, so, but it's so cute. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the project this week. Everyone, um, if you need any supplies for this, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and you can shop right from my blog. Remember about celebration, it's till March 31st. You can get uh, 50, uh, every $50, you get a free product from the celebration catalog. You can pick one free product for every $50 and um so yeah that's it and i hope you enjoyed the project thank you for stopping and visiting <laughs> i'll see you all later bye